Management of Drug-Induced Liver Injury Introduction Drug-Induced Liver Injury, DILI, is one of the most challenging liver disorders faced by hepatologists because of the myriad of drugs used in clinical practice, dietary supplements with hepatotoxic potential, along with the ability of DILI to present a variety of clinical and pathological phenotypes and the absence of specific biomarkers. This makes DILI diagnosis an uncertain process requiring a high degree of awareness of the condition and the careful exclusion of alternative etiologies of liver disease. Idiosyncratic hepatotoxicity can be severe, leading to a particularly serious variety of acute liver failure ALF, for which no effective therapy has yet been developed. Treatment The most important initial step in terms of the management of suspected DILI is to discontinue the implicated agent. In the large majority of DILI, spontaneous recovery occurs without the need for any treatment or specific measures. Spontaneous recovery after discontinuation of the offending drug is an important criterion in the causality assessment. There is usually a complete or near-complete resolution of DILI within a few days to weeks. However, improvement may not begin immediately and ongoing or even worsening injury can occur despite the withdrawal of the causative agent. At the same time, the severity of the liver injury should be assessed and patients with concomitant jaundice should be kept under active surveillance with frequent testing of liver biochemistries. Patients with signs or biochemical indications of ALF, such as encephalopathy and or coagulopathy, should generally be hospitalized. Some therapeutic approaches have been proposed and are used in specific circumstances with variable levels of proof of efficacy. Management with specific therapies There are two main treatment approaches for drug-induced ALF. Rapid depuration of the body from the toxic drug to stop further aggression before the agent may reach the liver. Administration of an antidote to prevent and or stop the aggression once the drug has reached the liver. Charcoal depuration is mainly used as a treatment for paracetamol toxicity. It is an efficient treatment that prevents further absorption of the drug if administered within 3 to 4 hours following acute ingestion. There are several other types of therapies recommended for DILI patients in varying situations such as Corticosteroids Corticosteroids are beneficial for alcoholic hepatitis and autoimmune hepatitis but they have not been adequately studied in DILI. Nonetheless, it has been recommended to manage drug-induced autoimmune-like hepatitis with drug withdrawal and corticosteroids. Corticosteroid therapy may also be considered if laboratory abnormalities do not resolve after 6 to 8 weeks, especially if the suspected drug is associated with an immune basis for DILI. N-acetylcysteine NAC. It is used in acetaminophen toxicity, but its role is being explored in non-acetaminophen-related DILI. According to the ACG Clinical Practice Guidelines, NAC may be considered in adults with early-stage ALF, but it is not recommended in children with severe DILI. Other treatment options Carnitine has been administered in valproate-induced liver injury. Natural products such as silmarine, resveratrol, Curcumin and ginkgo are being investigated for possible hepatoprotective effects, although the data are preliminary. Plasma exchange, molecular absorbent recirculatory systems and fractionated plasma separation and absorption have been used in ALF.